It seems as if all processes taking place in the universe are meticulously coordinated with one another. Of course we know that our Earth is part of a superordinate planetary system whose representatives all rotate around a common host star. In view of galactic interrelationships and fixed cosmic laws, an exciting question arises. What would actually happen if we removed a planet from the solar system? Would the disappearance of one of our galactic neighbors have drastic consequences for the remaining celestial bodies? Or would the disappearance of a planet in the gigantic context of the universe have no noteworthy effects? Together with you, we would like to take a closer look at this interesting question today. Enthusiastic about the fascinating phenomena and groundbreaking discoveries in space? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to join us in the future on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe. With a thumbs up, you show us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. The Solar System Our domestic solar system includes eight official planets. Starting from the central host star, these are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Together with the natural satellites, the dwarf planets, and other smaller bodies, like comets and asteroids, as well as the totality of all dust and gas particles, these objects form a superordinate group that we call the Solar System. What unites all these formations is the fact that they are gravitationally bound to the Sun. The gigantic central star alone accounts for over 99% of the total mass of our galactic system. The individual celestial bodies in the solar system are as fascinating as they are different. While the terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are characterized by a solid composition, the outer gas planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune have a completely different chemical composition. The gaseous celestial bodies consist mainly of light gases such as helium and hydrogen. Each planet has its own orbit around the Sun. Depending on the prevailing distance between the celestial body and the Sun, as well as the characteristics of the individual rotation orbit, the most different orbital periods result. While our Earth needs 365 days in order to circle the Sun once completely, Neptune requires a whole 165 years for the same undertaking. With an orbital period of only 88 days, Mercury is the fastest planet in the solar system. In spite of all scientific investigations, there is at present still no generally valid definition determining the exact extent of the solar system. In the past, the edge of the solar system was often equated with the heliosphere. However, after the existence of distant trans-Neptunian objects became known, the scientific community realized that beyond the heliopause, there are still countless entities gravitationally bound to our central host star. Gravity Before we approach the question of what would happen if a planet disappeared from the solar system, it's first advisable to take a closer look at the effects of gravity. As most of you surely already know, this basic physical force manifests itself in the mutual attraction of masses. The gravitational force decreases with the increasing distance of the masses. In principle, however, it has an unlimited range. This also means that, in contrast to magnetic or electrical forces, it cannot be shielded. In our terrestrial context, gravitation makes itself noticeable in the way that all objects apparently fall downwards, or in other words, in the direction of the center of the Earth. Within the solar system, this mass attraction determines the orbits of all planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. In the entire cosmos, gravitation plays a central role in the formation of stars and galaxies. The principle that applies is the more massive an object is, the larger the gravitational force it exerts. As already mentioned, the Sun is by far the most massive object in our immediate galactic neighborhood. While the central star is the driving gravitational force in the solar system, the individual planets influence each other with respect to their mass attraction, even if these effects cannot be compared with the force of the Sun. Planetary gravitation plays only a superordinate role in the interaction of the planets. Despite this, the question remains, what consequences would the appearance of a celestial body have for the remaining representatives of the planetary system? If a planet disappeared 
The effects that would result in such a case depend on the respective planet being erased from the star map. In order to show us the corresponding consequences comparatively, we should go through the individual planets one after the other. Consequently, our mental game begins with the planet nearest the Sun and at the same time the smallest planet in the solar system, Mercury. The distance between the celestial body and the host star amounts to an average of just over 30 million miles. Consequently, the effects that Mercury exerts on its more distant galactic neighbors are also very small. In fact, experts agree that the planet's disappearance would not significantly change the order of the solar system. Because of its small diameter of just around 3,000 miles and its proximity to the Sun, Mercury plays only a minor role in the interactions within the planetary system. Venus the situation would be quite similar in the case of Venus. If the second and third smallest planet of our solar system, which is often called Earth's twin, would disappear, this would have no drastic consequences on the cosmological total context. For life on our Earth, however, a noticeable change would occur in one aspect. The celestial body named after the Roman goddess of love is the second brightest object in the night sky after the moon. So if Venus were to disappear, we would also lose our fascinating morning star. Earth. As is well known, our blue home planet is the only celestial body on which we have so far been able to prove the existence of living beings. What would happen if our terrestrial homeland were erased suddenly from the star map? Well, the consequences of this scenario are actually obvious. In this case, no one would be able to watch this video. With the disappearance of our species, our thought experiment would have become meaningless in itself. Mars. While the loss of Mercury and Venus would have no significant consequences for interactions in the solar system, the disappearance of the red planet would have noticeable effects. The disappearance of the fabled celestial body could be said to benefit our terrestrial security. For indeed, the threat from near-Earth asteroids would diminish considerably in this case. Specifically, the so-called asteroid belt is located between Mars and Jupiter. As the name of this structure reveals, it is a clustered accumulation of asteroids. So far, over 650,000 of these astronomical small bodies have been located there. The individual formations are bundled thereby mainly by the gravitational force of Jupiter. However, it happens that some asteroids are hurled out of their original orbit by the force of the Sun. In this case, the gravitational force of Mars acts again like a kind of galactic slingshot which accelerates the bodies in the direction of our blue home planet. If Mars were to disappear now, it would affect this cosmic acceleration process so that the risk of the Earth being hit by an asteroid would be considerably smaller. Jupiter with an impressive equatorial diameter of almost 89,000 miles, Jupiter advances to the largest planet in the solar system. In contrast to the celestial bodies presented so far, Jupiter is not a terrestrial planet, but a gas giant. Due to its gigantic dimensions, Jupiter exerts a strong gravitational pull on the objects in its vicinity. To put it one way, the gas giant also takes on the role of a terrestrial protector. In fact, Jupiter has already protected our home planet from countless asteroid impacts in the past millions of years. The planet has such a strong gravitational field that it can deflect those astronomical bodies heading towards Earth and hurl them out of the solar system. As mentioned earlier, Jupiter's massive gravitational pull is also responsible for keeping the entities in the asteroid belt in steady orbits. However, Jupiter's disappearance would not change the fundamental order in the solar system. Saturn in the list of the largest planets in the solar system, Saturn finds itself in second place. In addition to its considerable intrinsic diameter of nearly 75,000 miles and its at least 82 natural satellites, it's above all the complex ring system that makes the planet named after the Roman god of wealth so fascinating. It's unlikely that the disappearance of Saturn would have any appreciable effect on the inner terrestrial planets. However, the situation is different in the case of its direct galactic neighbors. With its size and mass, Saturn exerts some influence on the orbits of Jupiter and Uranus. Uranus The diameter of Uranus, at more than 30,000 miles, is about four times larger than the diameter of Earth. However, this ice giant is simply too far away from the inner planets for its disappearance to have any significant effect on our terrestrial life. 
This does not apply to the outer reaches of the solar system, however, including the Kuiper Belt. Here, the disappearance of the third largest representative of the planetary system would leave noticeable consequences. Neptune The eighth and outermost planet of our solar system, Neptune, is located an average of about 3 billion miles from our terrestrial home. Beyond the ice giant lies the Kuiper Belt, a ring-shaped, fairly flat region that hosts more than 70,000 objects whose diameters are larger than 65 miles. Among them, Pluto. With its gravitational pull, Neptune significantly controls the motions of the Kuiper Belt entities. The disappearance of the planet would lead to an unholy chaos and numerous collisions within this galactic area. The changes for our Earth, however, would be at most slight. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about our video today? We're already looking forward to your comments. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.